It's a raise your hand function. Coach, go ahead. After reviewing the Arkansas game, we did a lot of really good things in the game, made a lot of explosive plays, um, really controlled the tempo of the game on offense. But there's always a little but, I guess. Um, you know, we, we, we made some critical mistakes in the game, uh, whether it was on special teams, offense, defense, uh, that never allowed us to really, you know, put the game away. Um, so those are things that we obviously need to correct, as I said, after the game and things that we'll certainly address with our players. And I'm sure our players, you know, want to make sure they get it right and they're going to work hard to do it. Um, you know, great to have a couple of our guys, um, you know, Henry being the Walter Camp National Player of the Week and uh, Bryce, SEC Offensive Player of the Week. Um, those are – it's always great to see our players get – you know, positive recognition for uh, the types of games that they play. And both those guys were outstanding in the game. As you well know, the Iron Bowl is one of the best rivalries in the country. Uh, there's a lot of people in this state and all over the nation that uh, have great interest in this game. A lot of people have a lot of passion for their schools, which is what makes this rivalry uh, what it is. And, um, you know, it's always difficult place to play on the road uh, when you go down to – uh, Jordan Air Stadium. So uh, this is something that our players are going to have to really have a lot of respect for and do a great job of, of preparing. You know, Auburn really has a good team. Um, you know, they're, um, they've had some close losses. Uh, they've had some tough injuries. Uh, but I think T.J. Finley is a very good, capable um, quarterback who can make plays. He's, got, he's big. He's got a strong arm. He's accurate with the ball. Uh, he's been in the offense all year long. He's got some experience. Um, you know, the running back, Tank Bigby, is, you know, as good as anybody in our league relative to his production, performance. Uh, he can make you miss. He runs behind his pads. Um, you know, Brian Harson has done a really good job, I think, with this team. Uh, they present a lot of multiples on offense that are difficult to defend. Uh, they have a very good core of wide receivers, a lot of guys that have a lot of catches. They've got good tight ends. Uh, their defense has played extremely well all year long. They're physical. They're very aggressive uh, in the way they play. They create a lot of negative plays for the offense. Uh, and these guys are always good on special teams. You know, I know they lost a great kicker, uh, but their punter is really, really good. Uh, they've got good returners. Uh, they play well on teams. So all the way around, this is a really, really good team. And I think, you know, our players are – it's all about the players, you know, when you play in this game. Um, if you don't have success in this game, I don't care what else you accomplish in the, in the season, there's always a but. And um, what comes after but usually isn't good. You, you've heard me say that before. So uh, it's a big game for us to be able to continue to try to build some momentum – you know, and in, into in the rest of the season. Okay, with that, we'll start with Michael Casagrande. Yeah, what is it about Jordan Hare Stadium that makes it so difficult to play? And you guys have had some tough games, uh, I think three of the last four times down there. Yeah, well, it's, um, you know, they've got great passion and enthusiasm. And it's like any place you play on the road, you know, if you don't play well, you don't execute. Um, you know, we've made, we've, kind of been our own worst enemy. You know, when I think about the games that we've had, you know, down there, whether we turn the ball over, pick sixes on the one yard line, kick six. I mean, there's been a lot of things that um, have contributed to, we've contributed to um, that has made it difficult. So I think the big thing is, is being positive about how you're going to execute and stay focused and not be distracted by all the external factors um, or the noise surrounding the game. But uh, when the game starts, be able to, you know, get in there and play one play at a time and do your job well. And, um, you know, that's that's the challenge. And that's what we, we've got to be able to do. Go to Nick Kelly. Yeah, the first time that you coached in the Iron Bowl, I mean, what maybe stood out to you or, or surprised you a little bit, finally, you know, being part of that rivalry? So you're asking me to remember what happened 15 years ago. Yeah, I'm just curious. Per first impression. I'm a hard time remembering what happened yesterday. <laughs> no, I I've always had a tremendous amount of respect for this game, even before I ever coached here. And you know, the first game we played here, 
Um, you know, you actually feel it. Uh, you always respect it. Uh, but when you play in it, you actually feel it. Uh, you know what it means to a lot of people. And um, it's one of the great rivalries in the country. And it's great competitive opportunity for all the players on both sides to have, you know, a game like this to be able to, you know, play in, compete in, uh, have as a, a memory legacy wise. Um, so, you know, everybody's got to understand that and be focused on what they need to do to play well. Go to Aaron Settles. Do you have a favorite Iron Bowl game or, or memory from one of these games? <laughs> I, I guess my memory from last year's game when I was sitting at home watching on TV probably would be the most different memory uh, of any. Uh, but look, there's there's been some crazy things happen. Um, you know, the end of the game, the last time we played down there, we had a chance to get the ball back. They had the quarterback in the game. Uh, you know, the, I already mentioned the, you know, kick six. Um, you know, I mean, we had one year, we had like five chances to score inside the red zone, you know, in the fourth quarter and never scored a point. And they came back and tied the game and, and, and we got beat. So, um, you know, then we've had some really, really good, you know, games that we played as well. Um, you seem to remember the, the ones that didn't go so well the most because they hurt the most. But, um, you know, I mean, what we're focused on is not what's happened in the past, but, you know, what we need to do to play well in this game uh, this week. Go to John Zener. Uh, yes, Coach. I know there's always going to be people, people who expect you all to win every game by a few touchdowns. But is there some benefit going to these big games to be so battle-tested? You guys have had to come up with some plays late in games already. Well, I mean, hey, it's you always have to respect the competitive char character of the players when whether they have to make stops at the end of the game um, or, you know, we have to move the ball at the end of the game, whether it's to take the air out of it or, you know, score. Um, so these experiences are always beneficial, I think. Um, and certainly we've had our share of them this year, um, but. I, I think the focus is, you know, to keep players playing one t play at a time and not look at the scoreboard. And uh, maybe that helps you execute, you know, down the stretch a little better. Go to Charlie Potter. Yeah, hey, Coach. Uh, just how big have John Mechie and Jamison Williams been for you guys these last few weeks? And how have you seen the other guys at wide receiver kind of come along? Yeah, I, I think those two guys have had, you know, really outstanding years. Uh, they both played very well. Uh, they both had really good production. Uh, and I think that, you know, Slade has played really well for us. Uh, I think, you know, Jacoby, Jacoby Brooks has, you know, made a lot of improvement as a freshman, played a little bit more in the last game. Um, you know, Javon Baker, uh, Treshawn Holden, those guys have, when they've got an opportunity, they've, they've done a pretty good job as well. So uh, we want to continue to develop um, and, have more players that can play with the kind of consistency we need. Um, so um, I'm not disappointed in the group at all uh, as to how they've progressed. And um, but we've had two guys, two guys that you mentioned, have had fantastic years and great production. Go to Joseph Goodman. Hey, Coach, how is your perspective uh, of this game different after last year? Or, or maybe how is your perspective of college football in general after last year, this, this week last year? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know that my perspective on the game is any different. Um, the circumstances surrounding the game relative to what we all went through a year ago as a society as well as in sports, you know, made it a little different then. But it's – you know, we're pretty much back to normal. It's great to have fans. It's great to have uh, the kind of energy and enthusiasm we've had in our home games. And uh, I'm sure that wherever we played and wherever we play in the future, they're going to have the same kind of passion and energy. So uh, it's more getting back to normal uh, than it is having a different perspective. I think last year was the different perspective. We'll go to Tony Scalas. You had mentioned earlier that uh, Josh Job was dealing with a turf toe. Was that something that was bothering him last week? And he just didn't look himself all, all the time. 
Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. Um, you know, Josh practiced well, you know, all week and, um, you know, just had a couple tough plays in the game. And, uh, I think sometimes, you know, when players get a little frustrated that, uh, sometimes you're protecting them by not putting them in there when they're, you know, not feeling confident in themselves, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk today and, you know, see what we can do to help him sort of, you know, play the way he's capable of playing because that's the number one goal we all have here. Go to Stephen Smith. Coach, you mentioned uh, Damian George stepping up some at right tackle on the team, bringing him along. Uh, and, and the depth that you guys have on the offensive line, could we see some more changes or some more evaluation from that group? No, I, I think that, um, you know, the guys that we have playing right now have the most experience and uh, they, they've gotten progressively better as the year has gone on. And, um, you know, Chris Owens has done a good job when he played right tackle. He did a good job when he had to play center, um, really on short notice in the LSU game. Um, getting Darian back last week was, you know, probably a good thing. Gave Damian George an opportunity to play some right tackle, and he's done a, a pretty good job of that. But I can't see making other changes in the offensive line helping us improve our chances of being successful. Uh, hopefully we can keep these guys healthy and keep them playing well. Okay, we got time for two more. We'll start with Ryan Hennessy. Coach, your quarterback Bryce Young with the big game numbers-wise on Saturday. Do, do you believe in clicking at the right time, and how important is it for him to be playing his best football, getting, getting awards and stuff like that during this time leading to the end of the season? Well, I, I think – you know, for all players, um, you know, I think playing well down the stretch, um, you know, games at the end of the year probably are more meaningful uh, in some regards, um, more meaningful to the team uh, to play your best at this time of the season. Uh, and it's mean more meaningful to individual players, I think. And Bryce has played well for us all year long. Uh, I know he had a great game statistically and played really well in the last game, but He's played very well in, you know, most of the games this year. And, um, you know, he'll be the first guy to, you know, say that there's things that he could have done better uh, on the few plays that he might have had an opportunity to do something different. Uh, but that's the right kind of, like, mindset to have to be able to continue to improve and make progress, which uh, he's always done a good job of. Coach, that's actually all we've got. Thank you. All right, thank you.